Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. If you don't know me, my name is Leah and we have a very exciting week. We're gonna get into updating the studio ever so slightly, making some new works, going to an abandoned house to find some new material and a couple other things. So let's get to it. It's very early in the morning. I just got home from England where my family lives. You guys may have not noticed that I was away, but I was. Um, I just queued up a couple videos before going. So it's been a while since I've been back in the studio and I'm really happy to be here. I'm also very proud of myself for cleaning the studio before going. It felt really good to come back in here and see a blank canvas ready to get messed up. <laughs> there was a couple days where I woke up on my trip and I really wanted to create something, but I wasn't in the place to do so. We had a lot of plans. So this morning I woke up early. I have tons of time. I'd love to just spend the day in the studio creating. On my trip, I saw a lot of amazing art. I went to the Serpentine Gallery in Hyde Park, if you guys have been to England, you know that this place has really great free shows on. Went to the Tate Modern, popped into a whole bunch of other places, and I'm definitely feeling very inspired. I also got this adorable care package from one of you guys in the mail. Uh, I think it's gonna be full of collage pieces, so I could see us starting there for sure. I also have these little frames here that I really wanna fill. It's kind of weird looking at blank frames. They're tiny, but they could be really fun to do. So that's kind of my plan for today. It's very loose, um, but I'm definitely feeling ready to create. So why don't we turn around and start looking into what we're gonna do today. So as I said, this is from one of you guys. I think it's so sweet to send like some papers back in the mail. Look, it's like a massive sticker of three. You guys should definitely go check out her page. It's incredible. And this is so cute. Look at that. I really didn't know what was gonna be in here, but what if we put these in the frame? So we have this. Like that would fit perfectly. This one's definitely too big, so I don't wanna cut it at all. I think it'd be kind of nice to have something on the wall that isn't my own. I have one thing already that's Rosie's. Um, and I think that like having a couple of the other pieces in the studio, they're also some other artists. I think it'd be nice to have those as like little reminders and inspiration for the future. What do you guys think? Okay, I love that. I think it's super cute might not be able to do the matting, unfortunately, but I think it's gonna work perfectly. Okay, ready? Looks so cute. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna move on to actually creating and I just wanted to go through and see, I feel like I have a photo for this and I have this page I've really wanted to use for a long time and I was just like, it looks so good the way it is, how could I possibly improve it? And then I was wondering if maybe I could put like a person in the background that looks shocked. 
And then I came across this photo that I've seen before, um, obviously, because I cut it out already. But I think that her in the background popping her head out of the mountain would be, like, pretty funny. So I'm going to try to cut her into this, and that will just be our first little fun creation. So I think to visualize this better, I'm going to cut off this part. We're definitely not going to need this. I might keep the hand. We'll see if we need it. So I think the funny thing about this is that I could almost have her like hand holding the ski if I wanted. And then she could be like in behind here. I might have to fix this line here, but something like that I think would be really funny, but I'm definitely gonna have to cut out the mountains and just see where she sits. My one issue is that like you can barely see the shirt here so I wonder if her hand is gonna look like her own, I guess. Um, but I think let's try like cutting out this leg, tucking it behind and kind of seeing if we like it or not. I do wanna say though, this yellow works perfectly with his yellow. It just feels like one of those meant to be moments. And I always love when there's little people and then like a large scale. So we have like a lot of scale here. So this hand section is definitely going to be the last thing that I glue. I wonder if it just doesn't really make sense. Um, I like it, but I'm just worried, yeah, the sleeve is an issue, but I, th I think if it's cut off, like this looks fine. Very excited to introduce you to a new tool. Okay, here she is. I didn't buy this one because of the quality. I literally bought it because it was pink and it matched everything else I have. And I also liked the little gold detail, but I wish this part was gold too. Whatever, not a big deal, but I'm very excited to have this. I'm very excited to have this. Say hello to my little friend. Very excited, very excited. Um, I think it's gonna be very much so easier to do this. The problem with this one is I love this one, don't get me wrong, but when it gets really close like this, sometimes it'll like pull the paper and give you a jagged edge. And I don't like that, obviously. It's not meant to be, it's a mistake. Um, so I think that this is gonna give me a really clean cut on these pages. Yeah, see, it looks way better. Kind of missed a little bit, so I guess I'll go back in. I guess this is for measuring, oopsie. Perfect. Also, the reason I waited so long is I love this back piece too. It's so pretty, but we're sticking to the front one today. So I think this is kind of exactly where I want her. I don't want this too high. I don't want it to look like weird. But I think like somewhere in there is good. It gives her some headroom as well. And I mean, she's not like directly in the crotch, which I think looks a little bit better. Um, and I do want to get out as much of this yellow without being like too much. I think her chin should be touching. And I think that looks great. OK, 
Okay, this one's really giving me a laugh. I love it. I think the colors are perfect. I just like can't believe that I could have found like these two images with so such similar colors. Like her lips are exactly like this red. There's a little red around. They have this orange and yellowy color and orange and yellow here all through the audience. And even her hair is like brown and these have like some browns in them. Like this is just one of those like happy moments where I'm just so happy that I stuck with it. And yeah, it looks great. And the size is perfect, it's just a little guy. I love it. I always like looking at the back side of my collages too. It's not that different, but it's kind of funny, eh? I basically just woke up, it's the morning, and I'm already having like such a weird day. So my hotel artist residency just got canceled. I'm supposed to start it in July 1st, so that's literally like next week. And I'm a little bit bummed about it, but honestly I was feeling like it was gonna be like kind of a bit of a burden because there was like a schedule for what I needed to do. Um, and I'm just trying to think about it and now I'm like, do I try to do my own version of the artist residency in a way that I want to do it versus the way that they wanted me to do it? It was quite quite an extensive uh, process to get there and they just said that they did some budget cuts and of course the arts are the first thing to get cut every time there's a budget cut, which really pisses me off. So yeah, what do we think of the idea of like trying to do my own artist residency at home? Uh, I wonder if I could just like make myself a schedule and be like really strict with it. It was supposed to be part-time anyways, so maybe that's something I could do. And then immediately after this happened, I got a message from another artist that is very uh, close to me in Toronto. And she said that she has been passing by this house over and over again. And she realized that it was abandoned and she messaged the developers that are going to knock it down and create a condo and asked if she could get access to it and make it into like a really cool immersive art exhibition before it goes down which is really cool. And she messaged me to say that the house is full of books. So maybe it is my lucky day. So I figured that maybe we could go over there and take a look at what's there. I also want to see what art exhibits are going up in it. I feel like this is going to be like a really cool day. It was unexpected. Uh, but yeah, uh, why don't we go do that? Oh, what about old maps? That'd be cool. I also found there's like a whole bag of those in one of the cool. garages, like old Ontario maps. Yeah, I'll take those. Yes. The the grid is really nice. Yeah. It's got like a nice, I could see that being something for sure. Yeah, there's like nice pastels. A little black and white on top. And like anything that doesn't sell, I'm hoping. Uh, do you want some bags? Because I got they one. Got, they're, they're hoarders here. There's a, like a big bag of bags in this room. Who doesn't have a bag of bags, though? Well, like there's like this bag of bags, but then there's also like a bag of like reusable shopping bags. Yeah, for sure. I have this little one, so and I was like, you, that'll help. You need more than that. <laughs> I purposely didn't bring them, so I wouldn't take that much. <laughs> but now I'm like, hmm. Uh, mm. uh, jokes <laughs> on you. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm just about to hop on a call. I'm about to have my first ever uh, mentorship call, which is really cool. I've decided to get a mentor for uh, YouTube and art, but kind of like art business. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a really long time and then someone that I was interested in opened up their roster for new clients and I was like, you know what, maybe this is it. Uh, so I did that. The studio is a mess right now. I'm just gonna clean it up quickly before my call and start getting prepped. I'm really behind. I had a really big issue where after we got the books, I came down with a two day migraine. I was basically just needing like dark room silence for like two days. Uh, this is pretty typical of my disease, I guess. It happens sometimes, unfortunately. Um, or I'm just getting sick. You never know which one it's gonna be. This means I'm just like really behind on my prep. I came up with like a whole bunch of questions. I have like 40 questions that I wanna get done in this session. Hopefully if we can. Uh, and I was gonna delay it just because I was feeling bad up until like literally an hour ago, but I'm like, you know what, we should just get it done. Um, and this is just a part of being who I am, unfortunately, sometimes. So before I jump on the call, I just wanna clean up the studio a little bit, get, go over my notes, get prepared, read through everything that I said I really wanted help with, and kind of get my brain back into what we're doing. 
I also got more of these poly mailers. These are the ones I use for my orders and I love them. So I was able to find them again and it was really hard to, so glad I have those. Like this is the pile that I should have taken home and this is the pile that I wanted to take home. Uh, it's very heavy but they look so cool. Before I show them off I just wanted to give them a quick wipe down because they're super gross. Um, they're not honestly that bad but they do have like cobwebs and stuff on them so I'm just gonna take a paper towel with a little bit of water and a little bit of dish soap very lightly um, and just give the covers a little overdue and anything on the sides that has cobwebs, I'm just gonna use like a dry cloth and get them off. I have heard from people that you can like put them in the oven or the freezer to kill like bacteria. Uh, I don't really wanna put them in the oven or the freezer where my food is. I've also heard that you can use a, a vinegar water like breakdown, I think it's like eight to one uh, water to vinegar um, is an option. I would just recommend, honestly, just using some paper towel and getting off all the spider webs. And you can also just put them in the sun if you're really worried about that. I think that heat from the sun is enough and drying them out will do that for you. Okay, so I just want to start by saying I usually don't take books that are in this bad condition, but there were some really interesting things that I was seeing within them. And some of them are just for decoration. Like for example, <laughs> these ones, they're huge, but I thought that they'd be really nice for decorating. Like you could put them on a bookshelf sideways and just have like a couple things on top of them. Um, so these I grabbed for like a later time project. And there's one tab on here, so I'm actually curious to see what word they bookmarked. <laughs> the word that is bookmarked is yellowing. Yellow in general, and it's funny because it has a yellow tab on it, so I'm not sure if that's just like a little artistic thing that they did or not, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just angled this better so you can take a look, but basically a couple of these I just thought were going to be great for um, honestly like collage kits and making like these pieces of paper are the perfect size for doing something really interesting um i think it's like honestly i feel like the size of a postcard and i could see like using this as like a backdrop for little pieces um maybe even like pantone series like being able to do these instead of the pantones i think could be really interesting next we have this alcoholics anonymous coming of age book i just thought that this was again a good one for the bookshelf being able to have something that says that 
and it actually says like the Department of Civil Service on it. So I wonder if they took this from somewhere. Like it feels like a library book with like the stamps and stuff inside of it. The next one I grabbed is just Galileo's Daughter. It's like a book, but I thought that this could make like a perfect art journal. Like the way that the pages are, the pages are gorgeous. And the text is pretty like laid out nicely. So I feel like this could make like a really good book for doing like a junk journal in, uh, in the future. I would love to just like, you know, collage over the front maybe. I like this blue background, honestly, it looks pretty nice and it's in pretty good condition compared to some of the other stuff that was in there. The next one I took was the Encyclopedia Britannica, 1980s book of the year. It's just full of pictures and I thought that again, like this could be good for like um, some collage kits for sure in the future. Um, and I liked this paper. They have like these blues with like interesting facts and stuff on them. Like I think that this could make like a really nice background in a collage. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of cool things in there. I took a chunk of these maps. I decided not to take all of them, but there's maps in here and I really liked the colors as you guys saw. Then in the backyard, there was a grapevine. So I know that like in little Portugal slash little Italy here, we have like so many people that make their own wine. And so this is like a book of the complete way to make your own wine and grow it. And I just thought that, that was kind of like an interesting thing to do. Honestly, I might actually just like read this for like the interest of uh, winemaking myself. Um, but yeah, so that was one that I found as well. And then they just had these books that were really falling apart as you can see. I think the spine definitely broke, but they had the art of the still life. And it's hard to find art books like this. And I found that they were really like cool images. Like all of these are, are great for collage again. And like, again, they don't need to all be attached. These could be in collage kits, or I could just bring some to my workshops or I can use them for myself. So I thought that this was a great grab. And then they had the American art review. So like some, uh, like an art magazine. Two art magazines. I think for now though, I think I'm gonna put these on my porch so that they can dry out, get some air. It's been a long time since I've seen broad daylight um, and see if like the must comes out of them. Cause I have like a ba basically like a small one. Not all of them have it, but a couple of them do. And I would like to not have them in my house if they smell bad. Okay, everyone, it's the next day. Those books have come inside and they honestly smell perfectly fine now. They smell just like clean, fresh. It's beautiful what the outdoors can really do to them. I know I talked a lot about my collage kits, so if you're wondering what they are, they're basically a kit of all these different vintage and interesting papers that I discover on my journeys. Then I put together about a third of a pound of paper per kit. Make sure that each one has backgrounds and foregrounds and really interesting things within them, and then I sell them on my website. So if you're interested in taking a look, you can head over to flansella.com and take a look at those. So once the last batch has run out, then I will start going through these papers and making new ones for you guys. There's a couple other projects that I forgot to record, like I'm going to be redoing the drapes in this room. I did a whole bunch of packaging orders. I also am currently editing the video that we are working on right now. I was thinking about the abandoned house stuff and I really thought that it was like a really interesting way to go about it. And I talked to her about like how interesting her life is and that she should document it. Um, so now I'm in negotiations of potentially making like a whole video docu-series-ish on my channel here about that entire project. So hopefully that turns into something. I'm really excited about that. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for the week. If you haven't liked this video already, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm more than happy to answer any of your comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. <laughs>